You <coughs> knew, knew all this going on. Like uh, American Idol said goodbye to Jason. Jason, 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 Jason. Here is Jason Cox. Everyone keeps saying you were ready to go home, yeah? Well, that Jason, Simon, we just had Simon on, and he said he thought you fumbled the words on purpose because you wanted to go home. Is that true? Not at all. I didn't I, think I so. I couldn't believe I forgot those words. I, can't, I don't know Jingle, where they went. Jingle, jangle, morning. <laughs> I know. Those are like, you know, written on your soul. You don't forget those words. I don't know where they went. Written Maybe you were soul. nervous, something like that? I, I think so. My, my brain was scattered that night. Yeah. But do you think you w were ready to go home? You know... I I didn't want to go home. I was trying to make it as far as I could, but but these last few weeks have been really hard. Like since we doubled up the songs, I think my mm -hmm. inexperience just kind of caught up to me, and I I couldn't keep up. You know. <laughs> Were you quoted in a magazine saying that you wanted to go home? Is that correct? So I think somebody told me that. I think yeah. it was Entertainment said, Weekly. But, yeah, you yeah. said you were ready, ready to go. And home. it was it's she caught me on a day I was kind of frustrated with a lot of things, and uh, it's just you know there's ups and downs, and that day. I really felt like not doing anything. Well, but, we know uh, we know what the ups are watching the show. What what are some of the yeah. downs? The practice? Well, or? I mean, yeah, just like like today, like this morning, I would have been real frustrated. Usually Thursdays, I'm frustrated because we have to learn our new songs and we haven't had time to, you know, like to arrange them. And that's the cool part, getting to make it your own and make it cool. And you know, now three songs, you can't you you can't even focus enough to make one, you know, your own. It's just hard. Jason, well, I went really to this hard. show, what, two weeks ago, and you were yawning the whole time when people thought maybe you were going to be kicked off. <laughs> so I'm thinking you're pretty mellow about the whole thing. I am, and I think I'm just a chronic yawner. I yawn <laughs> all the time, and I'm surprised no one's caught me on one in one of these interviews. <laughs> hey, Jason, you did uh, the song, and people remember this one, Hallelujah, the Leonard Cohen song. Mm -hmm, that's great. The, the uh, uh, Jeff... Uh, Buckley, Buckley version of it, and it caused a firestorm because the Jeff Buckley version, which was yeah, became a, a huge song over the years, was never a hit. It now, and Jeff Buckley's been dead for ten or eleven years, became a tremendous hit on iTunes because of your version of it. Yeah, that, I mean that was that was really cool. I was like, whoa, <laughs> like what an honor, you know, that I could do that, and uh, it's really cool. Of it. And no one's heard that song; they needed to hear it, <laughs> and so I'm glad they did now. So what do, you, what do you do after the show, other than 10,000 interviews? Then well, <laughs> then uh, we got the finale coming up, which, mm -hmm. which uh, the top 12 will be a part of, and then the tour, and then, um, you know, and then just music. We'll see what we can do. Put out some music. So do you think it'll come out to David Cook and Saisha, and if it does, who do you think is going to win? Just, you know, throw it out there, because nobody wants to. But just be, be a man. Throw it out there, Jason. I, I'm, I'm not much of a man these days, I guess. You know, I just got kicked off American Idol. No, yeah, but, I mean, you know, bigger people, big people have gotten thrown off that show and go on to really yeah. big things. Well, yeah, I'm, I was just mad. What's his name? How far did Daughtry go? How, Daughtry, How far did Daughtry go? Yeah. Do, you, do you know Jason? Yeah. He's yeah, he's mega. Huge. Yeah, but he, but he got only like what three, four, five. Oh, he was yeah. down the bottom. Three, I, I think right? it was. I think it was the same week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was four, yeah, yeah this week. There you go. Yeah, it's a lucky week to get on. Like him, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Jason, who who are your good friends on the show? Who are you close to? You know, I'm really close to everybody. And as the numbers get smaller, we just really get a lot closer. Like we spend every day, all day together with all of them. And so, you know, I'm not particularly closer to anybody. You know, but I feel really close to all of them. Did you talk to Simon or any of the judges after the show? Yeah, they came up. They always came up, come up and say hi. And What'd they, they say? They were kind. They're always kind. Like, you know, I don't know. They got to be mean on TV, I guess. <laughs> but uh, no, they just, you know, they were like, you did good. So so what happens cool. now? Do you hang around? You go back to uh, Rockwell, Texas well, or Dallas? Or where, what do you do? I'm, uh, I'm going to New York on Saturday and doing some stuff out there. And then... Uh, Either home, I hope to go home, or I might just have to come right back for the finale. I'm not, not you know, sure we yet. we had Brooke here yesterday, and she said she hasn't slept basically since she got kicked off. It's it's a lot yeah. of interviews, it's a lot of traveling. I'm on an hour of sleep right now. <laughs> All right, yeah. Jason, you know you've been watched by more people than probably most singers in the history of the world. And then he did this show. And then he did this show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Obligatory. Yeah, you know. Okay, uh, Jason. We wish you good luck. Okay. Well, thank you very yeah. much. Thank you very much. Last night I wasn't too surprised about the outcome. I I think I had the weakest performance of the night, and uh, you know, I I just been struggling these last few weeks. So it was my time. I think it's just. My brain couldn't handle it. Like once we doubled up two songs, I just uh, I couldn't put them together. You know, my brain was just split between the two songs, and neither one ever came together. And, and I think that was just my inexperience coming in.
I'm getting better. I'm starting to like them. For now, I like them better than practicing for my next level. Well, it's made me get up earlier. American Idol has. And, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. I think I've grown a lot as a, just vocally and, I don't know, got a lot of confidence now. You know, if you're not confident after that, you got a problem. <laughs> That whole day was like one of my favorite days while I was here. Like it was just a blast from the time we woke up, got on the private jet, and it was just amazing, the coolest thing ever. And we got there and we ended up in a really nice like hotel room with like a, its own swimming pool and putting green and stuff. It was amazing. And then played with dolphins. Dolphins are cool. <laughs> and then the show. The show is incredible. Like it was just a great day. I, there wasn't one highlight. The whole day was just awesome. Well, we got the tour coming up. Can't wait for that. And, uh, you know, then after that, just playing some music. I mean, he's just saying what he thinks. and They didn't really bother me because I had fun with the songs. So, you know, they bother me when I'm not secure in my songs, but I was fine with those. So. You know, those guys are there because they're better than me. I don't know what advice I can give them. <laughs> Maybe I don't take it too seriously. No, oh, take it seriously, but I mean, don't take yourself too seriously. More like it. <laughs> no regrets.